So the next step for installing SharePoint 2016 Preview is to have a SQL Server 2014 um, instance. So that's what I'm actually running right now. I'm just running the installation software for SQL Server 2014. I will create a very basic SQL Server and standalone installation inside of my SharePoint server. Um, of course, I will follow the, the SQL Server wizard uh, process in order to provision the minimum roles and the minimum features for our MySQL Server instance. So this is very straightforward. It's just kind of installing SQL Server, the database engine, and uh, the SQL Server Enterprise Manager. Manager. It is important just to let you know that I am creating the folders that I will use to store data, logs, backup, and TEMDB um, uh, SQL Server objects. Of course, in the real life, in the real world, we will have multiple volumes in our hard drive. But I'm just doing this uh, as a very basic example. Remember, we are creating a single server farm deployment for SharePoint 2016 preview. So here, I'm going to select the specific components that I will need, in this case, the database engine and the management tools. That's it. That's all that we need in order to install SharePoint 2016 Preview or any other SharePoint version. And well, I just will click Next and continue with the process of setting up SQL Server, um, a standalone SQL Server. I will, I will not define a specific name instance. I will use the out of the box instance name for the server. Um, I will use the out of the box credentials and accounts that are described there. Notice that the collation that I selected. The only thing I will say here and I will define is the folders, where the logs is gonna get stored, where the data files and the temp, the, the backup and everything. Of course, um, it should be in different volumes in the real situation or even in a different kind of attached disk. But right now, this is just for demonstration and just for evaluation. We are, everybody is excited about SharePoint 2016 preview. And well, we are creating a single server farm deployment. SQL Server is inside of our SharePoint server. So it's a very straightforward configuration process here. At least I'm using the D drive to store those files. Uh, notice in the server configuration, I will include what will be my admin account, in this case, SP admin. I am logged as SP admin right now, and SP admin is a local admin in that particular SharePoint server. So we will start do the install process, which will take uh, a lot of time, but because this is a video, it's a very straightforward process. It will take less time, and this is it. Now we have our SQL Server 2014 deployment uh, for our evaluation, and then we can kind of load and, and, and run our software just to see that SQL Server is performing and working the way we expect in order to install SharePoint 2016 Preview. So notice there I'm going to kind of load um, the Enterprise Manager SQL Server. Uh, where is it? Here it is management console uh -huh. and straightforward process it's loading for the first time and there we have this is our sql server 2014 um, instance ready to go to install sharepoint 2016 preview